As Queen Elizabeth II, the longest reigning monarch in the world's history, left for her heavenly abode on September 8th, the British royal family has once again became the center of the world's attention. When it comes to royalty, things are complicated, and matters like the royal family's finance are even more complicated. How does the British royal family spend their massive wealth? Let's dig right in. Countless people all across the globe are obsessed with the British royal family. From the royal's names and details to their order of succession, people seem to have memorized it all. The royal family is considered the eptimone of elegance and grace. They lead lives of immense opulence that a commoner cannot even fathom. But where does the royal family get this huge money from? Well, the royal family is paid through a mix of public and private money. The royal family's net worth includes inherited wealth, a significant real estate portfolio, and other assets. However, the family's main source of income is the sovereign grant. The grant introduced in 2012 is an annual lump given to the sovereign each year out of the government's money for the royal family to carry out their official duties. The grant also allows the upkeep and maintenance of the royal residence such as the Buckingham Palace, the Kenston Palace, and amongst many others. The funding for the sovereign grant comes from a percentage of the profits from the crown estate revenue. The UK government's treasury decides how much money goes into the royal family every year from the earnings of the crown estate. Typically, 25% of the profits are returned to the estate, and to put it simply, the royal family receives staggering millions of dollars from British taxpayers every year. The royal household releases annual financial reports, giving an account of everything the sovereign and the royal family has spent their money on. Well, of course, minus the juicy details. A major chunk of royal expense is spent on the maintenance and refurbishment of the royal residences. Aside from the renovations and upkeep, it includes the salaries of the countless numbers of employees in the royal household. It's an official duty of the crown to provide and create employment for the British people. According to the royal family's official website, the royal household is split between five departments, and it's mainly based at Buckingham Palace and St. James Palace in London. Every year, many men and women are employed that keep the household running. But other members of the royal family need staff too. And they are pretty generous on that account with a number of housekeepers, servants and maids, drivers, and the list continues. After all, doing one's own groceries or paying bills and all of that is decidedly very unroyal, isn't it? A sizable portion of the royal family's annual wealth is spent on the official engagements of the crown. Precisely, that's what the royal family is for. Every year, the royal family as a whole carries out over 2,000 official engagements throughout the UK and worldwide. In addition to state responsibilities, these engagements include supporting charities, appearing at events, hosting head of state, throwing parties at palaces, opening new sessions of parliament, presenting citizens with awards, and occasionally traveling the globe to strengthen diplomatic relations. These royal family trips certainly aren't cheap, and millions are spent on these. Apart from the official trips, the members of the royal family love to take a break from their official duties and go on lavish vacations. The British royal family also gives a lot of money back to the British people through hundreds of charitable organizations. Many members of the royal family has even had their own established charities. The representation of the British people costs a lot. All these official duties and engagements require the royals to always look their best. The royal family is known for spending millions and millions of dollars on their lavish royal robes, designer and custom-made outfits, footwear, handbags, and much more. Kate Middleston, now the Princess of Wales, who was a commoner and married into the royal family, is especially known for her luxurious taste in fashion. From her exotic gowns and coat dresses to her matching stiletto heels and clutches, nearly everything costing thousands of dollars. The royal family may be low-key on many accounts, but one department where they all go out on is jewelry. The royal women are seen flaunting beautiful tiaras, neck pieces, earrings, and ring studded with the most exotic jewels, diamonds, pearls, and emeralds on every occasion. The royal's love for cars is also no secret. Prince Philip, the former queen's husband, was especially known for his fondness of exotic cars. King Charles III and his son, Prince William, are also car enthusiasts and own some very rare cars. A public education won't cut it for members of the British royal family, and so the royal spent millions on that too. When you have this crazy amount of money, you can also give crazy gift to your loved ones, don't you? The royals certainly don't hold back and give the most luxurious gifts as well. Fine dining also costs a lot. The British royal family members are occasionally seen dining out with family and friends in the most lavish restaurants in the UK and abroad. So, now you know where all this huge amounts of money is being spent. 
And that's all for our site today. Click one of the four videos on your screen right now.